Today we're talking how to install sprinkler valve boxes. I just finished installing an irrigation system and saw it in my front yard, but to wrap up the project I got a couple more things to do. Okay, I have two projects this morning. Bury that black cable, or at least hide it really well, and finally set the box for this valve. Purchased some small gravel that we'll be putting around the box. Um, that way dirt and mud doesn't get inside and it can be easier to service. One of the common misconceptions is that the valves actually go inside these boxes. Um, it's really more like the box goes on top of the valve. Um, it's literally just going to sit on top of everything. You don't want the boxes to actually be pushing on the PVC pipe and crushing it. So actually, we'll work on situating this where we want and then lowering it down, but then building up a base underneath it that keeps the bottom parts of this from crushing down on the pipe because that would obviously be pretty bad. Okay, went ahead and cleared out the box a little bit more, but also dropped this level lower so the drip system could drop down and be underneath the box and not have anything supported on it. Right now the box is sitting on the PVC pipe. What I'll be doing next is adding in gravel completely all around it and underneath the black box. Um, until the black box is lifted up a tiny bit. Something I learned in previous um, repairs, I repaired both valves, or all valves out of those two boxes. Um, I put gravel at the bottom of them, which was great, but I ended up putting dirt around the edges. Um, and ultimately, when rains happened and valve issues happened, um, the mud would mix in, so, I mean, ultimately, the best case scenario is to put gravel all around plus underneath um, and that'll give you a cleaner valve box. I personally like to get pebbles that are light gray but get dark and shiny when they get wet. This helps identify leaks that hopefully never happen. So one of the cool things about the small gravel is now that we have everything set up, if we lift this box just a little bit, some of the small gravel is gonna go up underneath this box, which will then keep the weight off of the actual PVC pipe that it's sitting on right now. Good. I've cleaned up this box, lowered it a little bit, and we'll be adding in a bunch of gravel in between the two boxes. I don't actually think I'm going to even have dirt over here. I'm just going to go gravel, small gravel, up to big gravel, and just know that in between the two boxes, where that main line goes, there's a, not going to be anything. So, let's get going. Okay, with that irrigation, the drip line that's coming here and teeing out, I uh, wanted to get some soft, small dirt around that section, covered it up. It's only a couple inches above it, but the idea there is to fill that in nice and loose with the dirt, then I'm going to get it wet to kind of hard pack it. You don't want to put a bunch of gravel on top of a drip line like that because all it takes is people standing on the gravel and all of a sudden you have issues. So key to burying lines that aren't very deep is to make sure that you have some nice 
dirt around it that solidifies and gets hard, which is definitely not a problem here in Arizona. Here I am finishing off the rest of the backfilling. Before we end today's video, here's what the valve box looked like at the start of the morning and how they look now. Short and sweet, just like subscribing to our channel. By the way, there's a new Super Thanks donation option for small channels like mine so we can rake in the big dollars. If you're feeling charitable, check it out. Thanks.